Hey, good afternoon, Bo Morris, Epic Ag Solutions. Uh, walking a choice trial day with Ben Wiegman. Don't put anything against him as a 618er, but he is an agronomist <laughs> now. Um, and then there's like a certain title and payroll that comes with it. So he is an expert because he's more than 50 miles away from home today. <laughs> so, but just wanted to kind of maybe elaborate on what we're seeing, kind of what our ideas are. I mean, we've got fungicide, we've got places to, to get application that put down, but do you give up on it or do you not? What, you know, what do you do moving forward? Because that seems to be the question that everybody wants to ask. Well, I don't want to spend any more money or what kind of crop are we going to have? I don't know, but uh, maybe you can elaborate way more on that than I can, I guess. So Yeah. No, thank you for that, Bo. And by the way, I just did learn what the 217 was here this morning. <laughs> so uh, it's gl glad to be in the 217 maybe, but you know, Bo is exactly right. You know, we've already dumped a lot of money into this crop, whether it's nitrogen and sulfur applications or herbicide, um, putting the crop out, tillage, all that type of stuff. And I know it can be very easy to maybe want to give up on this crop with the weather pattern that we had here in June. You know, we were definitely very hot and dry, but you know, there's been a lot of things that we've noticed out here when we've been walking this field. And first and foremost has been the yield potential, you know, so we're, some of these hybrids in this choice plot, they are pollinating right now. And, you know, we can pull some ears and the yield potential is still very, very great there, which brings up, you know, talking about fungicide and we still want to manage this crop. There's still a lot of yield to be had. We want to make sure that we maximize that grain fill period um, especially if we think about a, a year like last year where maybe there was a little bit later planted corn. But if we think about last year in July and August, we had a lot of cool nighttime temperatures, mainly in the 60s, um, some ample rainfall in places like that. And that's ultimately why we had good corn last year was because of that grain depth. We can make up a lot of yield. So, you know, guys have been asking, you know, how much, how much have we knocked off the top? And for me, it's really hard to answer that question because I don't think we have because we can make up a lot with that kernel depth out here. Um, so, you know, fungicide by all means, it's gonna be a year to spray fungicide. We don't have a lot of disease out there, but if we think about some of the plant health characteristics, things like that from our strobiliarins um, to help limit some um, stress can be very, very good out there. So um, this year I've been recommending, you know, a lot of times we may wanna go maybe that generic route, things like that, but um, the generic route can be okay, but just make sure that they have three sites of action. We want to have those strobies in there, the triazoles, and also the SDHIs. We want to have a very well-balanced approach out here with these fungicide applications so we make sure we're covering all of our bases so we can get the most out of that pass. Um, we think about some other things, um, what I like to call fungicide additives, is boron. I always like to recommend a 10% boron product, um, usually in the range of a pint to maybe two pint to the acre. Um, there's a lot of times we can get boron in with what I like to call a miracle grow pack, but a lot of times it's only maybe a half percent to maybe 2%. And I think a lot of times it just makes the crop look good and maybe it doesn't add up to the full benefit. So I always like to have, you know, somewhere around a 10% boron product um, and make sure we can get on enough because boron's gonna aid in that pollination period, help fill out those kernels the best we can so we can maximize our yield potential. Um, but you know, most important thing probably that we don't talk about enough is making sure we have products in that tank that are gonna help get those products um, into the plant and better utilize that. That may be the full tech. We've had great um, success with products from uh, Spray Tech, um, particularly the full tech product. And um, by getting those products into the plant, things like that, so we can get the most bang for our buck out there. Um, with that, Bo, do you have anything else? No, just wanna let everybody know if you got fungicide questions, holler at us. Um, and if you don't believe anything I have to say, we can always fall back on experts like Ben, Tom, Larry. So, but no, I appreciate the time. Thanks for listening. Call us if you have any questions. I appreciate it. Thank you.